All right, Shalom. First off, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, by Shem Rakak Wadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, want to go on this topic that Africa is named after a white man or a Edomite. Okay? Because uh, I get tired of uh people keep on saying that uh we're african american or that um the blacks in in america are from africa um and and you people don't even know know what the fuck you talking about man you you say that life was uh invented in africa you know you don't even understand what you're talking about man Okay, you need to know the meaning of words, what these words mean, if you're going to be using them, even to say America. Okay, but dealing with this topic of Africa, okay, the word Africa, the etymology of it is is Latin, okay, which it comes from comes comes from uh, Rome, okay, which uh, Africa or Terra. Okay, African land, Libya, the Car Carth Th Carthaginian territory, the province of Africa. Africa is a continent, right? An African, a word of uncertain origin, which I know the, the, the origin. I'm going to bring it out in this lesson. The Latin word originally was used only in reference to the region around modern Tunisia. It gradually was expanded to the whole continent. So the 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 word Africa usually it it used to mean only the modern area in Tunisia, but then it gradually was was expanded to the whole continent. Okay. Now you go into this word. Africa, which once again is a Latin word. The people in some of the people in uh, Africa may speak uh, Latin, okay, but it's many different languages over there, okay. Now Rome, um, it wasn't around uh during when when this when the people was living in Africa and uh, so called Egypt. Egypt wasn't wasn't uh called Egypt before uh. It was it was uh what it was now, man. Okay. Now it said it, Africa. Okay. The the word was is originally used only in reference to the region around modern Tunisia. Okay. You see how small Tunisia is compared to this continent. Okay. Africa only was for this little area right here. Okay. And as you can see, that Africa is right here next to Rome. Okay, which Africa, the so-called continent known as Africa, okay, which you're not going to find anywhere in the Bible, okay, the continent known as Africa is named after a white man, okay? Now, um, I'm going to get this article from uh, Wikipedia, Scipio Africanus, okay? Publius Cornelius Scipio Africanus, okay, from 236 to 183 B.C., also known as Scipio the African, okay, let's see what images pop up, okay, this is a white man, okay, Scipio the African, okay, this is your first African, man, and this is what Africa, the continent, is named after. Okay, so it says Scipio the African, African, okay, was a Roman general and later consul who is often regarded as one of the greatest generals and military strategists of all time. His main achievements were during the Second Punic War, where he is best known for defeating Hannibal. At the final battle of Zama in two two hundred and two 
BC. One of the feats that earned him the agnomen Africanus. Okay, prior to this battle near modern Zama, Tunisia, once again, this is Tunisia, okay, not that far from Rome. It says, uh, Scipio also conquered Carthage's holdings in, Iberian in the Iberian Peninsula, culminating in the Battle of Ilpa near uh, Spain, okay, in 206 B B C against Hannibal's brother, uh, Ma Mago Barca. Although considered a hero by the general Roman populace, primarily for his contri contributions in the stra struggle against the Carthaginians, Scipio was reviled by other patricians of his day. He, in his latter years, he was tried for bribery and treason, unfounded charges that were only meant to discredit him before the public. Disillusioned by the ingratitude of his peers, Scipio left Rome and withdrew from his, from public life. Okay? And this is the person who um, the whole continent of Africa is named after. Okay? Um, as you can um, you can see he's a, a white man. Okay? And um, like I said, man, I get tired of uh, you know, people saying that all black people are, are African and, you know, everybody came from Africa. It's, that's a, a, a big lie, man. Okay? That's a big lie. Okay? Now, let me get this scripture. Job 9 to 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, the so-called white man ain't going to tell you who you are, okay? You can't get your information from them, okay? And the battle between these two uh, nations, okay? If Italy Rome, uh, beat this place and they conquered this area, okay, and this nation probably spoke, uh, let's say, Tunisian, okay, or whatever the main language over there, is in this uh, region, okay? Italy is able to conquer this land and have the people speaking Rome, I mean Latin, in this land, okay? And give them the certain customs that they want them to live off of. And that's nothing different than what America did to America, colonized America, okay? So continuing on. Um, so the earth is given into the hand of the judges, I mean, the, uh, the hand of the wicked, okay, which that's the so-called white man, okay, Psalm 49 and 11, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations, they call their lands after their own names, okay, this land, known as, uh, Africa, is no at made after uh Scipio Africanus. Okay. Same way with America. America Vespucci. Okay. So this this land, okay, is named after the so called white man. Okay, Egypt. You know, all these these lands, okay. They the so called white man then colonized and changed the, the, the world Okay, and to, you know, and, and, and made people in America think that, um, that, that they got everything right, man. You know, they deceived the world, okay? This is, um, Isaiah 25 and 7, okay? It says, um, and he would destroy in this mountain the face of the, of the covering cast over all people. And that's the people not knowing who the heck they are, man. And the veil that is spread over all nations. Because the so-called white man got people thinking, just because you're from China, okay, you're, you're Chinese, okay, or you're, you're from Asia, you're Asian, 
you know, where a, a, a so-called black man could be from, from China and call himself Chinese, and be, be from Asia and call himself Asian, you know, so it's not about the landmass that you're, that you're from, man, okay, and when you go into the Bible, okay, you will never see any precept or anything that leads back to Africa, okay? Because it's not in there. It's named after a white man, okay? There, there are no concordance results for Africa in the King James Version Bible, okay? So, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. Like I said, I get tired of hearing this, you know, Africa this and Africa that. You don't even know who the hell it comes from, man. You know, you need to do your research, look this man up, okay? And, uh, you know, try to stop saying that bullshit, man. You know, because that, that's just a lie, man. You know, you don't know where it comes from, why it's even called Africa, you know, but you're African. You know, you got all these pan-Africans and, you know, people that never been to Africa, you go to Africa and you, you, you see, you know, you're going, you're going to end up, you know, uh, you don't even know where the fuck you're from in Africa, but you're claiming this land and you go over there. Okay, you might have a, a, a decent chance in the the, uh, the western parts of Africa, but then you're going to these other places. You know, these people hate you, man. You know? These people hate you. You're, you're not going to, your, your spirit ain't going, going to... Uh, gonna uh unite like those with those people man and in sh some some of these areas in africa okay you might have some of our people here and there scattered am amongst these other places but for the most part africa is named after a so-called white man okay a edomite okay a devil deceived the world okay but with that you know i want to say salawam